What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here. We're doing another modding in five minutes or less. This time we're looking at another Game Pass game, State of Decay 2. Make sure you take a hatch to that like button if you enjoy the video, comment on your favorite zombie game, and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. So this is one of the first times you actually are gonna get something special because I already know how to mod this game. Normally my how to mod videos are me literally pulling open the game and going from scratch on how to mod. I, being the bright, intelligent individual that I am, did the full mod video, but I did it using my uh, zoomed-in intro screen instead, so you couldn't see anything I was doing, because I'm talented that way. So, restarting from the beginning again. Yeah, I know. Uber talented. So this is State of K2. How to mod. Here's my default inventory. My backpack has seven slots. My character is not overweight yet, but is beyond the first threshold of weight. Whenever we drop this mod in, it's going to switch that down where I'm going to have eight slots for my backpack, and that's going to be down where I'm lightweight. All right. Now let's go ahead and actually walk you through how to mod. So now we're back at the desktop. You need to enable modding here first. However, don't bother opening the mods folder because... For this mod, we don't care about it. This mod is a pack mod. The pack mods are not stored inside of the data folder, which is the actual game data folder. Instead, it's stored with your save file. Now, to access your save file, you're going to go with search, and you're going to put percent app data and percent. Now, this defaults you to a hidden folder on the location, which is your local app data folder. This one specifically goes to your app data roaming folder, which is not quite what we're after. Anyways, but it gets you this hidden folder location, which is a little tricky to reach otherwise. So we're going to click on app data. We're going to go local here. Ooh, that's local low. We just want to go local. Now we're going to look inside of here for packages. Inside of the packages folder, we're going to be hunting and we're going to be finding the Microsoft Dayton. Inside Microsoft Dayton, we're going to go ahead and do local cache. And we're going to go to local and here is our state of day K2, and here is our save. I know that's a long route to get to your save file, but they wanted to hide it deep. Whenever we're here, you're not going to currently have a packed folder if this is a fresh game and you've never modded it before. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click, go new folder, and we're going to go ahead and put in packs. Easy enough. Next, we're going to go out and we're going to get a mod. For this mod, I'm going to be using the overpowered backpacks by Smoke and Kills. Yeah. The guy apparently is still in 2021 wanted to remind us that smoking kills, even though we've been told that for the last 15 years of our life, give or take. Regardless, this is the overpowered backpacks by smoking kills. This is going to give us the uh, eight mod or eight backpack slots and the lightweight. Specifically, if you pick the overpowered backpacks, if you pick the minus weight or the eight slot backpack, you'll only get those ones. Anyways, you're going to go ahead and manually download it. And slow download, I've already done it. Let's go ahead and get my downloads out here. So Windows, this PC. I don't know why I always go this PC, but I do. We're gonna go to downloads. It's called the overpowered backpacks. We're gonna go ahead and right click and we're gonna copy that pack, put it into that packs folder we created. And then Bob's your uncle, we're done. Now let's go ahead and kick the game back off. And if we did this correctly, we're going to actually have Oh God, that audio is loud. I really need to tune this. Odds are I'm probably gonna cut out the audio because blow my eardrums out right now. Ooh. Even though it's only dipping green on your guys' screen, I really need to, yeah, I need to adjust my audio for sure. Anyway, uh, actually, let me see if I can adjust it at the controller level. There we go. That's as quiet as it gets. So we're going to go ahead and go campaign, start up the campaign. Let's go ahead and continue the game. And if you remember my previous screen, I had a seven backpack and was over the first threshold of the weight. Now let's go ahead and check it out now. All right, now that we're in game, checking out the backpacks as he's hitting down on the D-pad. And voila, we have eight backpack slots over there under our weight. It's way down. Like, we are way below the first bar. We're at traveling light, even though we still have the exact same gears we had before. So that is the basics on how to mod State of Decay 2. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at CouchCommand, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to hit me up in my Discord. Link's up at the top of my channel page. 
Make sure you hit shot that like button if you enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments about your favorite zombie game. And finally, hit the subscribe button to get more of my weekly modding content. This was Couch Band. You'll have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.